Sports Video Group's Jason Dackman here with another episode of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. I'm privileged to be joined by Shay Eady, VP of Sales for Broadcast Services International. Shay, uh, where are you coming from and is everybody safe and, and healthy where you are? Yes, uh, we, we just had a conference call this morning and uh, uh, everyone checking in with each other. And yes, uh, our, our family and, and, and company uh, employees, uh, we're all prepared to be safe and, and hanging in there so far. Good. Um, That's what's most important. So you guys, uh, obviously, the, the business is at a bit of a standstill right now, but you've been extremely busy the last few months leading up to uh, the halt on, on some of these live sports. Uh, an acquisition, a new office, all kinds of work with the leagues that you guys are, are known for very well. Um, give us an idea of just some of the recent uh, developments with BSI. Sure. Um, you know, obviously, there are a lot of the uh, immediate sports went away. We were doing uh, uh, snowboarding and getting ready for a triathlon event in Bermuda and such. But of course, that's all on hold for the moment. But uh, just last month, um, as of uh, March 10th, uh, we acquired a uh, CSI, which is Commentary Systems International, uh, which we're based out of Texas. Um, it's a company that we've been working alongside for easily 20 years. Um, you know, we've been, BSI has been doing commentary since I think 1997 with the uh, NBA, with the finals and All Star. Uh, but uh, we always knew that, hey, come when the time comes, we would like to kind of take over uh, CSI's operations and, and bring those clients into our fold so we can deliver, uh, you know, the commentary systems for, you know, all the other events, whether it be uh, Super Bowl, uh, you know, golf with the uh, Players' Championship, or we were basically at Sawgrass, but uh, that got cut short right in the middle. Right, yeah, that was the last one that almost got in under the wire. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it almost squeaked through, but... Uh, so anyway, we, it, it brings a lot of new high profile events under the, you know, to BSI and we're excited to service all of those needs. Um, so we're, um, alongside of that, we're also, um, you know, our focus now rather than being just on the present time events is we're trying to look ahead. And so part of that is we've just expanded uh, into the West um, out of Edmonton, Alberta. Great. We uh, have an office that's just uh, opening right now. Um, Don Metz uh, will be uh, leading that expansion. Uh, we've been working with him for easily 25 years. I think that relationship goes back to uh, Jim with Jim Eady uh, back in the 88 Calgary Olympics. So, wow. um, you know, we've done golf, uh, tour of Alberta, Peloton, and all kinds of things with him. And he's a, a very well connected, and uh, we're looking uh, to work with him on attracting federations and developing uh, some of the underutilized and uh, sports that maybe uh, deserve a little more attention is kind of what we're looking to do. That's great. Um, you guys also yeah, are that, working that's with brand Kevin. new and uh, you know, we've been working on that since November, but uh, it's kind of like, look, you know what, let's just keep moving ahead. Uh, the sports will come back and uh, let's be ready for it. Right. And when they do come back, you know, I, I think we all know that the production landscape is going to look very different. You know, I'm obviously we're still going to be respecting social distancing for quite a while. And uh, I think that, you know, that means that a lot of the Remy and at home technologies that have come up over the last few years are, are going to get accelerated here. So how can BSI play a role in that? And how do you kind of see that live production ecosystem that you played a big role in for quite a while um, changing as a result of all this? Yeah, I think the change is inevitable. I think, uh, you know, people are going to you know walk away from this whole covid uh, experience and uh you know and with the sports who's to say maybe uh you know sporting events will start happening but maybe the airlines won't be uh you know available for everyone to fly all over the place and that kind of stuff so uh, i think it's important to you know get our existing uh infrastructure you know we have fly packs and studios and stuff and uh you know worked with the, the lavo uh you know, Pro V4s and, and doing the Remy remote type stuff. So we're basically trying to just get ready for that, uh, for some of the changes that might come down the line with our clients and saying, hey, can we look at maybe doing this a little bit differently? Um, we were a big part and worked with Telemundo with the, their uh, World Cup soccer and the, the Comey Bowl, um, you know, where they were basically remoting in uh, to their headquarters in Miami. And we were a big part of their engineering team that put that together. So we're just going to take that information and the lessons we learned with all that and, and see what we can do moving ahead. 
Right. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a, a very different world, but there's still going to be sports and they still need to be produced. Right. That's right. And I think uh, people are miss, going to miss, uh, are, are missing the sports. And uh, when they do come back, I think there's going to be, uh, uh, you know, kind of a, a craving and then people want to get their uh, fix and all that. And so I think us broadcasters are going to have to work at it with a really condensed schedule. Um, I think Masters just announced that they're November 9th to the 15th as of right now. And uh, so that's good news just to know that, hey, you know, it didn't disappear. It's going to come back. And we're hoping the rest follows suit. Yeah, we all are. But, uh, Shay, thanks so much for taking the time today. Really appreciate it. And stay safe. Okay, you too. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. For more episodes of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, stay tuned to sportsvideo.org and the SVG YouTube channel.